Coming up on show 664, Nissan want a reputation for EV performance, but what are they doing to get it? We're going to find out. Plus, ABB and Ionity in bed with more chargers. Toyota's start to their pure electric journey. A new EV called the Draco. Draco, maybe. And, of course, your answers to question of the week. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are listening around the world to this show, and, in fact, whatever day you are listening. Those of an eagle eye on the calendar will note this show coming out somewhat later than Sunday. However... Uh, there was no show Friday, no show Saturday. Very important that I try and read out your answers to question of the week and also not miss uh, more than a couple of shows. I was away working for four days at a big show called Autosport International, doing all their podcasts for them. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, EV News Daily uh, couldn't happen over that time. But I'd written the show and recorded the show. But something weird happened uh, that kind of made me sound like a Dalek. So I had to knock it on the head, had no time, and I'm finally back home now and recording it. So that's the, you know, cutting a short story long, uh, explaining where I've been, what's been going on, <sighs> and why you're finally getting the show now. However, then we'll be bang up to date again. Thank you to MyEV.com for making the show with me. A great group of people at MyEV.com. Very busy uh, building the world's first marketplace that's specifically tailored to buying and selling and learning about EVs and the services around them and what you need. New Patreon supporters as well. Darren Feach. I think that's how I say your name, Darren. If it's not, if I'm wrong... Slap me on the wrist, I'll do it again. Very important to get people's names right. A new executive producer, supporting at exec producer level, John, as well, a new supporter of the podcast, John Hornblow, thank you so much. Right, let's talk ABB. They make chargers, and they've been selected by Ionity. They've received an order for a further 324 HPCs, if you're new to the show. An HPC, high-powered charger. It's what we call the 350 kilowatt chargers, and sometimes some people call the 150 kilowatt ones those as well. Sometimes people call them ultra chargers or ultra fast chargers. And of course, there's Tesla's new superchargers that sit between that at 250 kilowatts. Oh goodness! However, you know it's all kind of academic because there aren't any cars that can charge at 350 kilowatts. Hang on, you say. The Porsche Taycan eh, actually can't charge that fast. They made a big deal about the 800-volt architecture and charging at that speed. I don't think it even gets above 300. But look, that I'm not going to kick 300 kilowatts out of bed for charging slowly. However, I think there is some sort of update coming in the future which will uh, speed it up. So, look, it's a, it's a case of being future-proofed, and the Ionity Network is uh, rolling out in 24 countries by the end of the year, by this year, 2020. Phase 2 will be complete, and so these 324 ABB chargers, uh, they're the ones with the, the halo around the top, the light. The LEDs change colour according to whether the, the charger is occupied or available. It's a great idea. Well, ABB has already commissioned in 2018 as the tech partner of delivering the first 340 HPCs to Ionity. They were the first ones to market with these 350 kilowatt chargers, liquid cooled cables as well, although they didn't come again at the beginning. A lot of the, I saw, you know, YouTube reviews and things, people trying out these uh, uh, high power chargers and the uh, the speed wasn't there because the liquid cooled cables weren't, weren't there to keep, you know, keep the, the metal cool. However, they are now up to 202 sites of which there are three in this here fine country of Great Britain. Uh, what would that be? Uh, Gretna at the top in uh, Scotland. Go down to Milton Keynes and Maidstone, I think. Is it Maidstone? What's the third one? Oh, no, I've had a brain freeze. I'm sure I can uh, have a quick look online. Right, let's talk Toyota. Now, you know I give them a hard time because the silly, silly marketing people want to flog the last few cars before EVs take over. And, you know, in order to really rinse that cash cow of car buyers, they call their hybrid technology self-charging, which I particularly hate, and many people people do, uh, because it's not. It's not some magical invention. You have to put petrol in the car for it to move. And they'll say, well, look, when it slows down, wasted energy as regen is recovered. Yeah, well done. Many, many cars do that. They don't call themselves 
magically self-charging. And you don't get Teslas. Oh, it's a self-charging Tesla. Uh, because when it slows down, it does some recuperation. However, that's the excuse they've given when they've been taken to task about this. Which I think is weird. So it comes to the, the kind of the crux of it all, because at some point, Tess, uh, Toyota will be selling all electric cars. And so they're going out of their way at the minute to go, look, plugging in's terrible. Get this self-charging hybrid technology. At some point, they're going to have to turn around and go, no, 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 no. No, we know we said that for years, but guess what? Joke, guys. We were joking. I don't know how they're going to get around it or whether they just presume people are stupid. They Maybe, maybe they think that you're thick. And that you'll forget. Maybe they just uh, just think that you'll turn up at a Toyota dealership and just hand over all of your money because you're an idiot. I think that maybe people have longer memories. But anyway, we know that they're going to be bringing electric cars very soon. So I do wish their, their silly, silly marketing people would stop dissing EVs. In fact, they've got a plan to sell 500,000 EVs by 2025 at Toyota. That's a big number, but not as big as it could be, given that they are a behemoth of a car company. It's only a fraction of VW. It's a fraction of what Tesla want to be selling in five years' time, says Electrive. An article in the Japanese business newspaper Nikkei reports that these e-targets Toyota would just uh, reach in order to hit environmental regulations. In other words, the regulations, the legislators in China and Europe that are making people sell EVs, that that, that number, half a million, is all they have to do, is what this article is claiming. Uh, Ten new pure electric models from Toyota making their debut by 2025, the first of which is going to be the posh brand Lexus, the Lexus UX 300e comes this year, you know, and it looks like a nice car. It looks like a nice EV. Not sure how they're going to market it because they've been dissing EVs for a very long time. Even then, though, they're only going to make as many cars as they really, really have to. 10,000 EVs this year, 30,000 EVs next year. It's a drop in the ocean, really. And they're all going to be made at their Motomachi factory in Toyota City. Okay, let's talk about an EV that I haven't heard of before. And it's always interesting to hear something new. We wish everybody well. It's not easy bringing a new car to market. The Draco. D-R-A-K-O. Draco or Draco. Yeah, the Draco GTE is an electric performance sedan. They have done a drag race with the Model S. Tesla Model S P100D Ludicrous Plus. And surprise, surprise... The Draco wins. Of course, you wouldn't put the video online if it lost. According to Motor1.com, they get off the line together. Then the Draco pulls ahead. It's got four electric motors, one per wheel, 1,200 horsepower, 6,500 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 206 miles an hour. That's 332 Ks. Battery-wise, not going to be too big like the Taycan in order to save weight and make it a performance car. 90 kilowatt hours. Again, you know, big-ish. Good. And they are going to aim for 250 miles. That's 400 Ks on the range. You know, that. lots of people have, a have, a have aimed big and come up short but good luck to them uh, performance is more about than about speed it's got adjustable suspension it's got carbon ceramic brembos on the brakes and yes it's going to cost an enormous amount of money certainly way more than the uh, model s of which they raced it against mm, interesting to prove their point uh, i guess it's got people like me talking about it but i don't think it'll be on too many model s owners shopping list let's talk about nissan they've taken a leaf and made a prototype of a new performance car and put it in the hands of a few journalists to try and... Well, Nissan want a reputation for performance like they have with their fossil cars. Uh, Brett at Autoblog got a chance to drive this prototype Leaf, uh, which is called the E-Force. Well, sort of. It's E hyphen numerical 4 O-R-C-E, which is a bit laboured, to be honest if I was being particularly accurate, I would call it the E4 Orse. <laughs> because that's technically what it is, right? It's E, the number four, O-R-C-E. But the eye sort of scans it and the brain kind of plays a trick and you read it as E-Force. Anyway, careering around a skid pad, a tight slalom course, a drag race in Las Vegas, International Speedway, all of those done by the journalists that got the chance to drive this, the new Nissan E4 Orse. A twin motor, 
twin motor prototype in the Leaf. And what they are, although they're saying it's efficient, it's smooth, they're really going for performance in mind. Autoblog continues that features include new motor control systems for getting the power down smoothly, new regen for both motors, two motors, front and rear, uh, will slow you down quicker and smoother. Four-wheel drive, a brake-based torque vectoring system uh, to keep you in the straight line when you want to go and, and you know, the curves not to throw you into a bush. Uh, if you think about Nissan's reputation with their fossil cars, uh, things like the GTR, what they want to do is to start to get away from the fact that the, the Nissan Leaf is a, a nice comfortable pedestrian car. I mean, look, it's quick. Not to 60, it's quick. The new one's quick. But what they want is those performance boys to see them making fast electrics, like an electric Z or an electric GTR. And the faithful need to be turned. They need their head turned, right? Their head turned. Uh, this time, though, they were doing it to a Leaf, which is not the sexiest car uh, to do it to. Uh, they did say in Autoblog that the dynamics of the prototype far superior to the one motor Leaf uh, that they also had on hand to compare it to. Okay, question of the week this week. I was asking you for your 2020 predictions. What on earth is going to happen this year? David Partington said 100,000 EVs sold in this country in a year. Hmm, interesting. He thinks it's going to be the company cars doing that, and I totally agree, actually, because from the 1st of April, company car tax is radically changing in this country. It From the 1st of April, company car tax going down to 0% will be an enormous boost to EVs. Don't underestimate it. And I agree with David. At the minute, you pay 20% uh, plus of the sticker price of the car based on having a company car through your work and it being available to use on your own time at the weekend for personal use, right? Personal use is what I should have said. So that goes to zero, zero percent. So if you're on uh, you know, a good salary and you have a nice company car, it's like 20% upwards of, of the retail price of that car. It's just, it's a massive sting and it, it, there's no point you know, a lot of people get car allowances or uh, they just claim mileage. Best thing to do, claim mileage. And so now, from the 1st of, of April, it makes a lot more sense to have company car fleets because those people that take them home at the, you know, if you're a business and you don't have space to park 100 cars, all your employees take them home at the weekend and, you know, take little Sally and Johnny to football practice on a Saturday and Sunday morning, then they're using it personal use. They're not going to have any tax hit every month in their paycheck and that's only for pure EVs and I, th I think oh no I, I hate it when I start ad-libbing because <laughs> I'm normally wrong I think also for plugins that do a certain minimum mileage of which there aren't any on sale because their uh, batteries are too small so when this happens huge stimulus and fleets well fleets are big news right so that's my prediction I may be wrong uh, Skip says uh, Tesla will dominate they will swallow up any new technology uh, to enable vertical integration. Rivian, says Skip, will struggle. Too many people coming in with SUVs at 50k. If they stick to 70k, they're going to struggle. That's a wide margin, says Skip. That's interesting. I've said a similar thing for a while now. Rivian is the darling of the EV industry. Big investment from Ford and Amazon. And pretty much any time you read anything online, any blog, any YouTube video that's about Rivian, it's going to get it's getting tons and tons of views. So people make a lot of Rivian stuff because it's really popular, and everyone's raving about them. I don't look. I, I'm not not raving. It's just really hard to do what they say they're going to do. Now, caveat: they've been doing it a long time. They're not new. Been around ten years in various incarnations, various guises, and I'm and I'm excited for Rivian. And let's see what they come up with. They've definitely got they look. They got the money the skills, the people, the technology. Let's just see what happens. Fingers crossed with them. Fingers crossed. It's not a done deal in my head. It's not a done deal. It's going to be a, a runaway success. Uh, Brian Carter says, Elon will become the richest person in the world from a sustainable energy background, and that will make the tide turn. Other people, other rich people wanting a, a slice of the action and forcing their companies to go green. Enrico says half a million Teslas sold this year. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're on their way. Roger says Ferrari will announce their first all-electric supercar. Hmm. They've always said no. Never, never, never. 
Mm. Johan says the first vehicle to home electricity tariff will be made publicly available. So you can easily use your car as home storage. I love that. I wish that was the case. There's some trials going on in certainly in this country and around Europe as well. And you know, lots of smart people working on V2G, V2H, uh, vehicle to grid to balance the grid, vehicle to home. So you can charge, you know, run your house off your car. Have to do it with at the minute a Chatham car, so a Nissan Leaf or uh, ENV 200 or a uh, first gen Soul because that had Chatham. So limited on the car you can drive but you know i'd love I, you know I, I would jump at the chance of having a second car second ev in our household would get a used 30 kilowatt hour leaf and stick it in the driveway and run the house off it if i could easily just change my electricity tariff and v2g and v2h was easy enough billy t's prediction a big chinese name will finally start selling one of their locally made cars in europe or the us and it will be the cheapest ev on sale he says love it thank you thank you thank you brilliant right question of the week let's set a new one send me yours uh any which way and i'll read them out on sunday with my v.com which car company would you like to see doing more to embrace electrification which car company would you like to see doing more to embrace electrification and why tell me why email me hello at evnewsdaily.com or leave a comment on youtube or social well, there are 229 patrons of the show. Thank you to everybody who supports. And there are 663 episodes of the show in the archive, of which you can get any of those now for free. I love to say thank you to my supporters, uh, like Phil Roberts of Electric Future, my premium partner, Brad Crosby. It's got to be a year now or more. Man, Brad is a generous dude. Thank you. And Avid Technology. Thank you the team there and my partners david allen oem audio of new zealand and evpower.co.nz paul o'connor tryev.com if you're in the uk check them out gareth hamer and emobility norway uh, again if you're in norway check out emobilitynorway.com and all of my exec producers i love reading these names out it's just a real buzz it's brilliant alan robson alan shed alex banahini alexander frank anders hove asir khalid ashley hill Bjard Fuchstack, Barry Penniston, Brent Kingsford, Brian Thompson, Brian Weatherall, Bruce Bohannon, Cesar True, hello, uh, Charles Hall, Chris Hopkins, Colin Hennessy, Craig Coles, Craig Cooper, Craig Rogers, Damian Davis, Dan Fares, Darren Bird, Darren Feach, the newbie, Darren Sant, Yorkshire EV, Dave Dewson, uh, David Finch, David Partington, David Prescott, Derek Riley at TheEffect.net, Don McAllister from ScreencastsOnline.com, Enrico Stefanchillo, Frederick Rovick, Free Jewel, who's James, Gene Rubin, Jeff Lowe, Ian Griffiths, Ian Sear, Jack Oakley, James Storr, Jerry Allison, Jim Morris, John Bailey, John Lacey at Click Clack Video NZ, John, who is Beardy McBeardface at Kent EVs, John Nodell, Juan Gonzalez, Ken Morris, Kevin Madison, Carl Mann, uh, Lars Dallager, Lawrence D. Allen, Lee Brown, Luke Cully, Marcel Lowen, Marcel Ward, Mark Bossett, or Bossett, uh, Marlin Shell, Matt Piscioni, Matthew Ellis, Maz Shah, Mia Oppelstrup, Michael Pastroni, Michael Cuffin, uh, Mike Rogers, Mike Winter, Nathan Gore Brown, Neil e. Roberts, and Leanne at Sussex CVs, Northern Explorers, Ohad Aston, uh, Paul Ridings, Paul Shelley, Paul Stevenson, Perry Simpkins, Pete Glass, Pete Gordon, Peter and D. Roberts at Oxen EVs, Phil Mouche, Pontus Kindblad. Uh, Rajiv Narayan, Ralph Jensen, Raleigh Schneider, Rob Cooling, Apple Driving, .co .uk, Rob Hermans, Robert Grace, Robin Tanner, Rupert Mitchell, Sabi the Cat, Sari Kangasodja, Saki Payne, Steve John, Stuart Hanna, The Limousine Line in Sydney, Thomas J. Tears, uh, The Plug Seekers, EV YouTube Channel, Tim Gutteridge, William Langhorn, and Zach Hurst. Ah, we're done. Thank you, you lot. If you want to get in touch, please do on the socials. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you soon, and remember, there is no such thing as a self-charging hybrid.